Hey guys, thanks for watching. This is my uh, third, I think, golf vlog where I am just following my workout. So this is the first thing we were doing, just all different kinds of mobility exercises on the floor. And this is super important for me right there, that bridge work, all those different butt workouts. Those were uh, butt kicks and those are uh, lunge with twist. Then we're doing uh, lateral kind of skipping jumps. That's super difficult, that ground crawl. And then this is like a, a inchworm kind of thing. Then we're doing twists, toe touches, and tilts. So uh, the whole, this exercise, and that was a fantastic warm-up. Then we're doing, uh, this is still our warm-up. This is uh, abs now. So this is actually super difficult for me to do. This is, um, this is a, an ab thing. So there's level one, level two, and level three. So level one, we go in circles, and then we do, uh, we go left to right, then we go in circles, and then we do figure eights, and then here's level two. Um, that's my uh, golf trainer, a really great golf trainer for anybody that's interested in, in like uh, really advancing their game through fitness. Uh, just check out drperformance.net. And then level three, really difficult. You can see here how uh, labored my breathing is becoming. And then, uh, but actually, I was I was happy to make it all the way through these three levels. And then figure eight. So follow along with that. I mean, it's you do that every day. You, your abs are going to feel it for sure. Very quickly, and then they also had this ball out. My abs were so zonked by doing that first warm-up thing, they could barely do that. Okay, so then we're doing this kind of traditional, um, I think it's called a bent-over row. So we started off doing it kind of this way, and David was just kind of a... Uh, Addressing my posture here. It stays there. I'm, I'm like uh, sometimes my posture because almost because of my uh, extreme flexibility, uh, my posture can be really bad. Like I, I kind of need to be a little bit more stiff. So that's the way we did it was traditionally. Now here, in this kind of a, three, uh, imagine like a three point stance that like a linebacker would take, or an offensive lineman would take. So you kind of get set up on the, uh, and you want your your hips and butt kind of high. And then pull it right there. That was that's pretty good form by me, but not perfect. David, David's trying to show me how he really wants me to get kind of make this a lot more dynamic than normal. Then this is something that I really don't have a good time with. See how I'm bent over there? That's really bad. I'm actually not allowed in these workouts at all to have a rounded back ever. The way I went to go pick that up. So Bieber here is showing me how I, really how I should pick it up by sticking my butt out, not by rounding my back and bending my knees a lot, but by sticking my butt out and then using my hips in the back and forth motion to um, get the bar up. That way I'm using my butt muscles in addition to other things uh, and not just using my quads and my lower back. So here's a time lapse of that. So that was a pretty good set by me, but you can see Bieber's form is already is much better than mine. I was doing 205 pounds here because I really just started on this. And Bieber was doing 225, even though I outweigh him by about 40 pounds. Thanks for and, watching. Uh, thanks for the young golfers uh, joining me. Basically, today was like a strength day and uh, also some, uh, it's not super golf specific. It's just basically just getting overall strong. Um, like, kind of like they say at Stanford, just like bully strength. Just like be a thug. That's the kind of stuff we're doing today, in my opinion, anyway. Uh, coming up in a couple weeks, we're going to have some baselines. Originally I started, I had a, uh, my swing speed was like around 111. So I'm hoping to get it a lot closer to the 120 range. So, but even more than that, I'm, with this whole golf fitness thing, I'm really looking to just have a more definite end to my backswing and just feel a lot more consistency in my swing in general and a lot more body control. That's why in the gym, one of the things David, David says is uh, in the gym, one of the things I'm looking for is a really precise great control of my body and my motions in the workout will lead to a lot better control of my body in the golf swings that I'm making. Alright guys, thanks for watching and see you next time.